deep space. What happens if you turn on the rocket thrusters and accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared? Well, someone outside would see all objects remain stationary, while the floor of the rocket accelerates into them. Inside the rocket, everything would appear to accelerate down to the ground, and you would feel a force pushing up on your feet, the same force that's pushing up on you as you watch this video. This situation feels exactly the same as being at rest on the surface of Earth. Because we are at rest on the surface of Earth. Now I want to ask you, are you watching this video in an inertial frame of reference? Well, I mean, do you feel weightless? No. So you are not an inertial observer. Your situation is exactly the same as someone accelerating on a rocket ship in deep space. And let me be clear, I don't mean that being at rest in a gravitational field is like accelerating in a rocket. I mean it is the exact same thing. You are accelerating and there is no gravitational field. Gravitational fields do not exist. Now I know that sounds crazy, but come with me for a minute. <laughs> this is you. In standard Newtonian physics, we draw your weight force, the force of gravity pushing you down, and the normal force from the floor pushing you up. We say these forces are equal and opposite, so there's no net force on you, so you are not accelerating. But in general relativity, gravity is not a force. You have no weight, so the only force on you are these normal forces pushing you up. So you are accelerating upwards, but I'm not moving up relative to what? I mean, relative to the flip chart and the floor and basically everything in this room. But all of those things are in your frame of reference, which you know is not inertial. Relative to everything in my rocket ship, I'm not accelerating. What you need, if you really want to measure your acceleration, is someone in an inertial frame of reference. Like the guy who fell off the roof. And he would see you accelerating up at 9.8 meters per second squared. I think what this shows is that what an acceleration really is, is it's a deviation from a geodesic. You can't follow a straight line path through space-time because the floor prevents you from doing that. It applies a force upwards on you, so you're accelerating up. But if I'm accelerating up, and so is everyone else around the world, and presumably the whole surface of the Earth, then shouldn't the Earth be expanding? No. It is possible for you to be accelerating even though your spatial coordinates are not changing. I will show you one equation from general relativity. This says that the second derivative of your position with respect to time is equal to your acceleration. That's just f on m. And if you were in flat space time, well, this is exactly what you're saying. If you're accelerating, your spatial coordinates have to change. But you are not in flat space time. And this term is related to the curvature of space time. And this is your velocity through time squared. You don't have to worry about the details here. The point is, your position can be not changing. This can be zero, which means your acceleration must be exactly equal to this, this curvature term times your velocity through time squared. So in curved space-time, you need to accelerate just to stand still. A lot of this... Why all objects fall at the same rate? <laughs> now, I have made a number of videos on this topic, and I would always give the standard Newtonian explanation. The only force on a free-falling body is its weight, g m m on r squared, which equals its mass times acceleration. You can cancel the object's mass on both sides of the equation, hence all objects will have this same acceleration. The mystery is why we could cancel these two m's. The one on the left was gravitational mass, the property of an object that creates and experiences a gravitational field, while the m on the right is inertial mass, a measure of resistance to acceleration. Why should these two conceptually different properties be numerically identical? Scientists have spent a lot of time and effort experimentally testing down to around one part in 10 trillion that these two types of mass really are the same. But in general relativity, there is no mystery. All objects appear to fall the same way because well, they're not accelerating. They're just following straight line paths through space-time until they encounter something that stops them. Like the objects in the rocket ship, they appear to accelerate at the same rate because they're not really accelerating. It's the floor accelerating into them. The reason the bowling ball feather falls again is because they're not falling. They're standing still. There is no force acting on them at all. Apple, speeding towards you. Would you catch it? Yes. Not if you're Einstein. You, in fact, sped towards the apple along with myself on the room while the apple sat suspended in space. What he calls this science. Ah!